Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I, uh, I'm going to have a sweet treat, dates, and some sh no sugar added chocolate. This is keto friendly. Dates are not keto friendly, but if I eat three dates a day, uh, my feet don't burn <laughs> from being in ketosis. So, so these are the most delicious dates ever. And it's natural sugar. It's not sugar that, um, I didn't get fat from eating dates is what I'm trying to say. It's not the sugar that's from, uh, you know, refined. It's unrefined. So, I'm taking the seeds out. And these are delicious. They taste like caramel. And they are medjool dates. Most of the Arabic-owned markets sell these. They're halal, uh, they sell halal meat, and then they also have the top quality dates that are, possi are possible to find, usually. Now, um, three pieces of chocolate are one serving so i put one piece of chocolate in each one this is going to be my lunch i'm not eating anything else i'm also getting some walnuts i'm gonna put some walnuts in here this is better than anything any store bought uh, gourmet candy because I put the chocolate, the best chocolate I can get for the money, and I put natural caramel on and I put nuts on. <laughs> I keep the nuts in the freezer so they don't turn rancid before I use them. Bismillah. Mm. This is my Valentine's Day treat. Mm. Just three. That was in Iraq. I mean, uh, dates grow in Iraq, but they can also grow in California now. I'm not sure maybe they can grow in other uh, warmer states too. They're a superfood, but it's like kind of like eating a turtle. Um, caramel turtle.
That's like, it's candy, and the chocolate is some of the best chocolate you can eat. It's keto, it's sweetened with monk fruit and erythrio, which is sugar alcohol, and it has, mm, zero grams of net carbs because nine plus three is 12. That's all the carbs. Everything else is fat, which is good. Mm, it's like eating a caramel turtle. So, so. My mom used to make caramel turtles for holidays, sometimes. Hers were not made with dates. <laughs> Mine are. Mmm. Better than any store bought candy. I know dates have some carbs, but they are undefined. So I eat three a day because they are super food and because when I keto too hard the neuropathy in my feet is unbearable and my legs. <sighs> mm. That was my Valentine's Day treat and it was lunch had enough calories to satisfy my need for lunch. <laughs> now I need some coffee. Unsweet coffee. My coffee is, is just black with um, heavy whipping cream in it. So I have to tell a joke about myself. Earlier when I was making my coffee, I, <clears throat> it was boiling and I looked at it to see if it was getting dark yet and it wasn't, it was clear. So I, I let it boil a bit longer and it was still clear. And then I said, did I even put coffee in there? 
and it, I didn't. I had just put some water in. So it was boiling away with no coffee. So I had to stop it and take it off the heat and add the coffee and keep boiling it longer. But I've been laughing at myself all afternoon. So here I am sitting in my plant room. It gets early morning sun and it gets late evening sun. And those light bulbs are plant lights. So I'm looking into getting some more um, more powerful plant light to have because it would help them grow. It would help my plants grow some better. are sitting out there on that box and when I talk they they sit there out there either on the box or on the steps and listen to me. <laughs> so cute. I put some leaves in there that I clipped off of my um, my uh, giant philodendron I don't know its name Monstera, I think. It's a Monstera. And I put them in the water. I doubt they'll get leaves, I mean roots, but I put them in there anyway. I don't think I that they're cut at the right place to make roots. I'm testing it anyway. The two were broken, so I just put them in water. And the other two were... Um, were slightly brown on the edges. So I decided to take them off. I don't think they'll root because um, I don't think I cut them at the right spot to get roots. But they'll be in the water for a while.